to Lagos, the Ekeja, Lagos, where the NSARS United is holding a press conference ahead of uh, the uh, anniversary of the Lekki Tollgate's uh, shootings. Stay, let's, let's head over there now. I am Mr. Agbe Zeifan. I'm a survivor of Lekki Tollgate shooting. Speak up, man. Speak up, man. Okay. What was it? You lost someone. You lost someone. Victor, Victor, son, Diva. Yeah, she lost uh, her son. I'll tell you. My name is Samuel Ashola. We like him as a customer. Thank you very much. They are all sitting there uh, looking good, but it was two years of uh, hell for some of them with bullet wounds and the rest. We'll speak more on that you know, as we start uh, the press text. Justice now for NSAS. Justice delayed is justice denied. Text of media briefing on the memorial of the repression of the NSAS peaceful protest and Lekki massacre you know, to be held today, Wednesday, 19th. October 2022. Good day, compatriots and members of the press. We are here today as part of the series of activities being organized by the NSAS activists in remembrance of the heroic resistance of Nigerians against police brutality two years ago. To demand for justice for those who were brutally killed and those still in incarceration, and to call for the implementation of the demands of the 2020 NSAS peaceful protest towards ending police brutality and rebuilding our country on the pillars of social justice. As you will recall, the NSAS peaceful protest was a spontaneous response of Nigerian youths who have borne the scars of illegal detention for many years, missing loved ones, extrajudicial murders of family members and friends by police, military-like repression by supposedly democratic government. The protest was peaceful and forge a sense of oneness in the heart of minds and minds of Nigerians for more walks of life and uh, to regional uh, backgrounds. We were armed only with our conscience and patriotism. The weapon we had were ideas, slogans, placards. People who did not know each other before, before the protest stood together, sat together, marched together, ate together, sang together, prayed together, and shared the hopes of a better Nigeria in their hearts through their actions. As you will recall, we were violently attacked at different times during the three weeks of our people protest by armed security personnel of the state and vagabonds who have, who have revealed, you know, to have been backed by agencies of the state. We all saw their DSS vehicle and then their BRT vehicles. By agents of the state, as captured in several visuals that were circulated online. The vehicles of political parties were unleashed on protesters in several states, including Lagos, Oshun, Anambra, Enugu, in Abuja on the same day that the special anti-robbery squad were banned, the police used water cannons against protesters and would later fire volleys of tear gas canisters. The day you banned SARS, you are still firing you know, water canisters as citizens. And that is why we refuse to leave the streets. Don't ban SARS just by banning it with a press text or a statement, as has been done you know, over the years. Do it properly the way a responsible government you know, does things. That's why we didn't leave the streets. Despite all this, we were undeterred. The protesters met their brutish display of force with love. Yes, we caught criminals, we handed them over to the police. We caught thugs. We added them to the police. You can imagine the character of Nigerian youth. At least nine family members, um, forgive me, love will overcome hate and hope that truth will prevail. Hope for a renewed nation where all rights will be duly respected as enshrined in the Constitution. This hope was dashed as the peaceful protests were thrown in blood on October 20, uh, 2020 a date forever marked with ignominy for the Nigerian state, a day forever in our minds as a marker in the struggle to remake Nigeria. It was not enough for the government of Major General Mohamed Buhari retired to massacre Nigerian youth. At least 
Nine family came out to speak up about losing their children on that day. Ola Milikan, Victor, you know, uh, Kenechuku Ifanyi, Jide, Kolade, Lekan, Wisdom, were all murdered, you know, in cold blood. We painfully recall the attack as our colleagues were shot at while peacefully singing the national anthem. Some of those people singing the national anthem are sitting down here, you know, with us today, and they were shot at. Who shoots people for singing the national anthem? The Nigerian government. Yes. I think the national anthem are waving the Nigerian flag. The federal government dismissed their singing and gave them debts as figments of our imagination, despite the presence of physical eye weakness as well as visual eye weakness who watched the event unfold in real time on Instagram. That's the worst aspect of all these things we are talking about. Continuous denial of obvious facts because you refuse you know, to take responsibility. The Lake Gate Massacre symbolized the tragedy of our state violence against innocent young Nigerians fighting for their country with flags and national anthem as their only two. It is a symbol of direct assault on the aspiration of young Nigerians for a better country. Why the government has tried to deny its responsibility and gaslight anyone that spoke the truth, we know that the labor of our ancestors, Matthias, and heroes, heroes past shall never be in vain. We have continued to stand up against police brutality and demand for justice for ancestors victims over the last two years, and we will not stop until our pursuit of justice is achieved. We stand united for justice for ancestors victims and the realization of the ideas and demand they fought for. And we dare to stand for justice now, for justice delayed, you know, is justice denied. We all know that even after the ancestors protest, they still killed young people like Jumokel Yeleke, you know, at Ojota, in the Yoruba Nation protest. They still killed 18 years old Mosurat, you know, uh, at uh, Surulere in our father's compound. That is the reason why we came out to demand for hand for police brutality. All right, that is, of course, the ongoing uh, press conference, a press briefing, head of the second anniversary of uh, the shootings at the Lucky Tolget by the uh, NSARS organizers there.